the roads are lovely dark and wide but i have a motorcycle to ride and miles to go before i reach and miles to go before i sleep that's by biker frost not robert frost riding your bike at night through country roads or let's say if you are touring on the highway you need really good lights so that you can see the road in front of you and little bit around it but here's the thing most oem headlights are not enough this is because oem headlights are not designed for highway use or you know going through guards at night that's designed for city use with lot of street lights and light pollution in the sky so they don't really have to be that strong but there are three more reasons why your oem headlights are not enough the first reason is the anti diesel laws now india like most other countries has anti diesel laws which limit the light output produced by all vehicles this is so that the lights like the headlights of the vehicle does not blind the oncoming traffic this is one reason which leads to moderate light outputs the second reason is cost cutting now good lights are expensive so if manufacturers add those good lights on vehicles then the vehicles price would go up there is not a lot of people want that for most riders regular oem headlights are just enough but for people who like to ride at night through guards or cruise down the highway at 120 oem headlights don't cut it the third reason is the distance of illumination most oem headlights only have about 100 to 150 feet of illumination in front of you which is about 2 2 seconds of visibility that's not enough that's not enough for most people who are cruising down the highway at 80 or 120 for them you for those kind of purposes you need at least 4 seconds of illumination even more the more the better always now a decade ago the moderate light output of oem headlights was an issue for a lot of bikers that was very difficult to fix but nowadays it's very easy we have led lights led lights have come a long way and they have in a way saved the day or should i say saved the night but yeah led auxiliary lights which were once used in competition like dakar or things like that nowadays everyone can buy them they are pretty affordable to buy and yes the good ones are really expensive but there are mad lights like mad dogs which cost around 6 to 7000 and they are a good starting point for most bikers but what exactly is an auxiliary light aux lights or auxiliary auxiliary lights are any kind of light that you put on your motorcycle that are not your headlights so they are secondary lights on your motorcycle but in most cases they are always more powerful than your oem headlights the function of aux lights is to fill the gaps left by the oem headlights so you can see more of the road in dark conditions so if you are someone who likes covering a lot of distance at night or likes going on night rides you should definitely consider investing in aux lights this is because aux lights not only help you see the road better but they throw light a lot farther than oem headlights like i mentioned earlier oem headlights only throw about light about 100 to 150 feet in front of you but a good aux light will throw more than 400 feet in front of you which gives you more time to react to obstacles that come on the road another really good benefit of aux light is that they make you more visible on the on the roads which is always a good thing because let's be honest highways is the shizio i'm going to make a t-shirt of that highways is the shizio i think this is the second time i'm using it in my video so yeah highways is the shizio and aux lights can help you become highways so you know everyone can see you because let's be honest most accidents happen in the dark where a driver has failed to see the biker so if you have aux lights they are not going to miss you definitely not but here's the thing if you go on any motorcycle shop and ask for aux lights they are going to hand you some random crap don't buy that don't just randomly buy aux lights that any shopkeeper would give you because most of the lights especially the cheap ones are not good they are not strong enough and they don't provide any of the any of the benefits i mentioned earlier you need to invest in a good aux good pair of aux lights because the art of light no sorry the art of light is intricate so you need to choose the right kind of aux lights but don't worry i got you right here are a few tips to help you choose and install aux lights on your motorcycle the first tip i have for you is to choose the lights that suit your riding style so if you are someone who likes to go fast at night then you should choose hypersports because they have a narrow 
beam that throws light a lot farther away. For most riders like me, sport beams work well because they are kind of like jack of all trades. They have a wider beam and a slightly shorter throw distance than hyper sports, but they work well in most conditions. For people who like to do off roading at night, they should definitely go for spot beams. No, sorry. They should definitely go for flood beams. These are lights that act like sort of like really high powerful low beams so you can see a lot of the road directly in front of you. Then there are fog lights. Remember, not all ox lights are fog lights, but all fog lights are ox lights. So please use the right term properly. Fog lights are basically ox lights designed to cut through the fog. So for rides through Ooty or you know foggy conditions. Fog lights come in handy because they can help you see more of the road when everything is cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. The second tip is always have them, have them installed by a smart mechanic. And if you are doing it yourself, then please, for the love of Valentin or Rossi, do not cut any wires on your motorcycle. Get a, what do you call, get a relay for it, get a switch for it and install it directly on the battery so you, it is not running through any of the bike's original wiring because sometimes they can mess up the entire wiring circuit of the bike which can be really expensive to replace or repair. Trust me, I have learned the hard way so don't be me, okay? The third tip I have is to install ox lights below your headlights. This is so that you don't, first, you don't blind the oncoming traffic and two, I think it is more legal to put ox lights below the headlights than above them. So, use that. The fourth tip is that if you are within city limits, especially in South India, it is always a good idea to cover your headlights. Because if a cop catches you, you can just tell them you are not using them, they are covered, even if they are turned on, they are not going to throw any lights. Otherwise, I'll get to the legality of it soon. The fifth and the most important tip I have for you is please, 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 please be responsible with your ox lights. Okay? We know how we hate when people are riding towards us with high beams on. Ox lights are really, really, really powerful high beams. So, don't be that guy. Don't don't ride on the on city roads with ox lights on because one, ox lights are really powerful and they can stun the oncoming traffic. So, if someone's coming in front of you and turn the high beams, sorry, ox lights on, there's a chance that they may not be able to see the road and they may swerve into your lane or hit someone else. Don't be that. Second, it's just annoying. Don't do it. Okay, please, please. Don't do it. Let's all be responsible bikers. Yeah. Now, coming to the most important question. Are ox lights legal in India? That's a tricky question because in most states, they are not really legal, but you can use them. It's safe. It's not safe to use them, but you can use them. You can have them on your bike. But if a cop ever catches you, there's a chance they can fine you or confiscate your lights or even destroy your lights. It entirely depends on the state you are in, I mean sorry, not the mental state, I'm saying physical state you are in like Kerala or Tamil Nadu, cops over there are pretty strict regarding ox lights and the cops mood that night. We are born in a lucky generation where such amazing technology is accessible and kind of affordable so why not use it. And of course, there is a risk of being fined by cops. I don't know what the fine is but I'm pretty sure it is expensive because last time I got fined was 500 rupees for breaking a signal so Pretty sure ox lights fines go about 2000 and there's a chance that you may lose your expensive ox lights entirely. But that's a risk I'm willing to take for my comfort and safety during night rides. Are you? Hey guys, this is Ayush here, the blue biker. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I don't post regularly but I'm trying to work a lot on my content so that I can give you guys more and more videos more frequently. Otherwise, what's the point, right? I need good subscribers, you need good content, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, this is a different setup because my room's AC is not working. And this is the studio I'm in. I hope you guys like my videos. Seriously, I'm putting a lot of effort into it. And I'm not asking you to like my videos because I'm putting a lot of effort. But I'm asking you to like my videos because I think I'm doing a good job at it, okay? So yeah, if you think I'm doing a good job, please like my videos. Subscribe to my channel and if you have any kind of feedback, rec recommendations or if there's any topic you want to learn about motorcycling, hit me in the comments. Dude, I'm always here. I got your back, okay? We'll all be blue bikers together. We'll all be responsible bikers together. Cheers and keep the sunny side up. No, wait. 
Cheers and keep the shiny side up. Cheers. Already said that. <laughs>